Five deaths in Nelson County since last Wednesday, and two of them were teenagers. WDRB's Christy Batista tells us how the community is grieving together. Christy. In an area that's no stranger to tragedy, Nelson County is yet again grieving. A vigil will be held here in about an hour, a little more than an hour, um, to honor those five victims. It's been several different incidents this week. First responders most recently called to a deadly crash this morning. A 13 year old was found unresponsive over the weekend. A 16 year old died in a crash. A family friend says the young girl was an organ donor and was able to save lives in her death. Everyone knows everyone here in Nelson County. The sheriff told us today he was neighbors with that girl and her family. So it's been a tough week for many people here, even those first responders. No call is ever really easy for them, but it's especially difficult when children are involved. Anybody that has kids will immediately fall into those shoes as a parent, not as a police officer or first responder or anything, but uh, you immediately go to that parenting and, and it's tough. And the sheriff says it's oh, it's always amazing to him when people in this community come together. And that is exactly what's happening tonight. The vigil is going to be held at 645 here right outside of the Nelson County Justice Center. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News.